Imagine playing chess against a quantum computer. A quantum computer, every single move that's made, the quantum computer calculates every every single combination of every thing all at once, all at the same time. So within that computer, like all of the moves that have ever been made that will that could or have ever been made are all sitting inside of that computer's no that knowledge base, right? Like it's already played them out. The computer has already played out every single every single move. So there's nothing that you're gonna surprise it with. It every single thing has played out and imagine if a quantum you know while the quantum computer is, is calculating those things right all of those things are all happening all those calculations are all happening at the at the exact same time within the computer's memory or within the computer's calculations <clears throat> now think about that like every single version of game whether you lo you lose or whether the computer loses it's already happening within the computer while it's doing its calculation all at the same time instantly in fact like well i don't know how great the google's quantum computer is right now but that's the idea right that's the idea is that the quantum computer does all the calculations all at once you as a person right like you have to you don't work that way right like you put your mind and focus on one like you're you're thinking of a couple routes of a couple things you could try and a lot of people like you know a lot of chess masters you know they they just play the game and a lot of them don't even know why they make certain moves some of it comes from experience some of it comes from you know but they don't know how, how the other person's going to choose right they, the other person is in the same boat so there's you know they can do things like manipulate them in in ways that are outside of the chessboard if they're playing timers you know they could make a move and hit the timer quick so then the other person the, the burden is on the other person to make a decision but think about this computer right the quantum computer if uh, just imagine like all of those versions you know all the things that could ever happen inside of the inside of that game that you're playing with the, this com this computer this chess game all of those calculations are going on all at the same time right like there's a version like it's playing out every single move that could ever happen and it can calculate them instantly but it, within that instance, you got to think about how many games has that computer played within that one calculation, right? Just because you make a move, all of a sudden, there's a whole, it's created a whole bunch of different scenarios. Every time you make a move, it gets more and more complex, infinitely complex. Well, on the computer, it's probably not infinite because, I mean, like in the game of chess, there's, you know, there's going to be limitations because of the rules and because of the pieces. It's a very, you know, it's limited. But think about all those games being played all at once, right? And if you're like, if you're the person playing against the computer, then, you know, in your head, you don't see all those things. You're only focused on, you know, trying to win. So like you're you're calculating a few moves that maybe you have gotten from like your experience or whatever. Maybe there's patterns that you know about, all those kinds of things, right? So within that, within your brain, your brain doesn't work the way that that computer works. But your brain has free will. So you can choose which version you want to be you want to participate in you could be the loser you could lose against the computer you could play the game and win against the computer right the computer doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you're a, you're going to be a winner or loser or whatever 
the only person that is making the choice, like you would have to tell the computer, hey, I want you to win this round, right? Now all of a sudden, as you're playing, the computer is going to be just aiming and, and going for the shortest route possible to winning the, the game of chess. And then you, you are choosing, you know, like you don't have, you don't have the same knowledge base in your head, right? Like you haven't calculated everything. So you're, you know, sitting there trying to figure out the best route to win the game because you want to win. But think about this, like when you make a move, every single version of every single combination of moves that could ever happen are all happening within the calculation. It happens in an instant in the computer, right? But all of those have played out. So every single version of life of, you know, of the game <laughs> is played out, whether it's a losing game or a winning game, whatever, or stalemate, whatever. <clears throat> Now think about the universe. Imagine if the universe works like that, where the universe is so infinite that it, the universe already is like the computer. It just already calculates every single version, every single version of you, every single reality is all already playing out in its calculations. It's already it's already happened and it's already happening and there's and take away the concept of time right without time like you know the dinosaur age is happening right now the you know the future is happening right now you know 3080 is happening right now right like there's all these different things that could happen they're all happening all at the same time right now infinitely you as a person as a conscience you've decided to dial in to this very specific experience why why would you choose that why would you choose to be listening to this video why would you be laying back on your couch or why would you be looking at your computer screen you know some of you just listen to these some of you watch you know minecraft being played those are all choices you've made those are all a simulation that is happening within reality you're choosing to do all these things you could get up and you could you know pause the video go and grab some water grab a soda right those are choices that you've made there's another version of you who is you know, not watching this video. There's another version of you, you know, who is no longer alive. There's another version of you that is like, you know, rich, poor, whatever. Every single version of you, every single little choice that you've ever made, every single person that you've ever met in your life, there is another version where you're on the opposite end. There's another version, like infinitely, there's infinite versions of you out there and like playing all at the same time just like a quantum computer the free will part is where you decide to jump into right like you decided to jump into this experience you decided to put your conscience in this moment because you've decided to do that you've got to learn why why did you make this choice I think that is the most important thing is like learning why you make choices. For me, I learned that a lot of my choices come from, you know, like my, the choices I've made it as a child or choices that are things that have happened to me when I was a child. And I think that like everything. So when you think about the past as well, right? So the past. I think about, you know, I think like, oh, I used to say like the reason why I, um, I feel insecure about this thing or this situation, or maybe like, you know, like I'm, I'm really, I, I go to karaoke a lot and 
I the very first song is always nerve-wracking for me I'm always scared because everyone is you the people I go to like the place I go to people there are so good at singing karaoke they are incredible singers and when I go up <laughs> it I, I get so nervous and scared and like I'm in front of everybody ready to sing my songs just you know a song or whatever right the first song I start sweating I start getting nervous and then I think to myself, you know what? I'm going to choose the reality. I'm going to choose to participate in the reality where I have zero nerves, where I am not nervous, where I am completely at peace with what's happening in this particular moment. And all of a sudden, I feel so much better. I go up there, I do my thing, people clap. People say, oh, you, you you know, like, we love when you do this song. You know, sometimes people have asked me, they, they've requested for me to do certain songs. You know, and the, I just, it's, it, it feels so much better. But before that, I'm sitting there worried. But it's so funny because if I was somebody, like, if I was outside of myself, right? Like, if I was, if I had the ability to choose and say, like, oh, this is the reality I want to live in. Would I choose one where I'm, where I'm scared? Would I choose one where, you know, things aren't going to turn out as well? Maybe I go up there, sing, and everybody's like, you know, they have a weird face going and stuff. You know, like, eek. <laughs> like, this person. Or oof. <laughs> you know, there's different versions that you can choose. And I think that the... I think that we are... I think that humans... We have the conscious ability to float in and out in between these different versions of ourselves that are happening already in the calculation, right? In the, in the universe's calculation. I think that we can choose which version we want to participate in. However, we don't choose, um, however, we don't, like it's within our limitation, right? So like within our limitation, meaning that we travel between the different versions and different dimensions of us the different very the variations of who we are and, and what we believe we are right now i believe that every single choice you make you are entering a different version of reality i think that even unconscious choices right like right now you are not making the choice to breathe you are not making the choice to allow blood to go through your veins right now, but it's happening. Those are choices. Those are little choices in your subconscious that are happening without your immediate knowledge. Unless you focus on those, then you won't know, right? You're just alive. You're just this combination of all these beautiful choices that are being made for you right now. And because of that, you get this sense, this like... You get this fake sense of what's going on. <laughs> you get this sense that you're, <clears throat> you get this sense that you are alive, that time is passing by. This concept of time is passing by when in reality, there is no time. There is nothing like time is just like money. The only reason it exists is because we give it value. We give it value because we use it as a way to measure things, right? The universe doesn't use inches and feet and stuff like that to, um, you know, in, it, in its expression. In it, when it builds out a tree, it's not saying, you know, this is how long it's going to be optimal for, you know, this and that. It doesn't do that. That's how a computer works. I think that the organic reality is much more complex than a computer is or what we believe is as a computer i believe that they are like it is so much more complex than we could imagine and because of that we have to you know like we have to make our own ways to survive right like so one way that we have learned to survive is to create things like arithmetic things like language and communication 
we've created advanced science, you know, like where we can measure light and measure sound and measure particles and we can even play with particles, right? These are all things that, but when you think about a particle, think about like a pixel on a screen, right? So a pixel on a screen, if you get enough of them on your screen, you can create a 144 hertz monitor <laughs> or you can, you know, like, and you can actually see what's going on. You can see what's happening in this video. Now you think about waves and sound waves, right? Like all those little waves, those all create sound. That's how you're listening to me right now. So consciously you are choosing to listen to this video while time passes by. That time is just you expressing yourself outward, the universe expanding. And as the universe expands, every single version of you is available for you to travel in between. And all it takes is your free will and your choice. You are bending yourself in between dimensions just by using your own free will. Some of those choices, like I said, some of those choices happen consciously. Some of those choices happen subconsciously. And the only way to travel to, to certain, and there, you know, there are dimensions where you are a much better, more favorable, like you're living a more favorable life. There's dimensions where you have endless amounts of money. You have endless amounts of resources where you have, you have nothing wrong with you. There are versions of you where you are happily, you know, married. You are, you have the perfect situation going. You, um, you're a celebrity, you know, there's versions of you where you, you know, you can sing or you can, you can, um, do whatever it is that you're interested in, in the best way. There's versions of you where you are famous for what you do right now. How do you get to those versions? Well, by making decisions to get there. So, you know, like, I mean, it's very basic. So say for instance, you are overweight, you know, you can make decisions to get yourself to the version of you that is no longer overweight. How do you make those decisions? You make a decision to one day go to the gym. And sometimes these decisions aren't, are not easy. Sometimes these decisions are, are hard, but they're always decisions that are available to you. You might think like, oh, you know, like, well, what if I have like cancer or whatever, right? What if I have like a ver the, what if I have like a, something that's very wrong with me and there's just no way out? Doctors say that I'm just screwed. That's because you're in the version of the reality where you are screwed. You chose to be there. You can make a choice to get out of there. You can make choices to, to, you know, there's all you're doing is you're moving your consciousness between different frequencies and those frequencies are dimensions. You already travel between these. And if you think about it, every person that you interact with is a version is, is within that dimension, right? So like, if you choose to, you can, you can have a different group of friends. You could, you know, even you could have the same group of friends, but they could be all different than the ones that you, uh, that you're friends with right now. There's versions of you where you're married to the, to the one that got away, right? There's versions of you where you're already divorced with that person. There's versions of you where you never met that person. You met someone better. There's versions of you where, you know, like there's versions of you that are more favorable to where you want to be right now. There's versions where, you know, Trump never existed, right? There's versions of universes. And I think that like some of the things that are happening in the world, like the Mandela effect, right? 
like where we remember something that happened in the past, but all of a sudden it's different. In my opinion, that's the biggest red flag for having different dimensions that we travel between. So if this is the case, how can you now think about like the universe? So if you can think of a reality that you want to live in, say you think about a reality where you are famous, right? Or let's make it easier. Like, let's say there's a reality where you just want to be in shape. You know, like you, you think that you're not in good shape. So you want to be in a reality where you're healthier, right? So all you have to do is start making choices. Those choices are going to travel are, are going to force you to travel between these dimensions and get you to that place. And every single decision you make, you're traveling between different versions of those dimensions incrementally small little, you might, you know, like you won't notice a difference between the different dimensions because because they're happening so gradually, so gradually. It's just like, like think about a prism, right? Like an, um, like a prism, like, you know, a light prism where like one like beam of light goes in one end, right? And then it shoots out and it's like a whole spectrum of colors. You wouldn't say like we created like Within that spectrum, we said, okay, this color's yellow, this one's blue, this one's, you know, red, this one's orange, whatever, right? Like, we created those. But the spectrum of those colors, there is no division. It just smoothly blends across the entire, you know, rainbow of colors, right? Spectrum of colors. Every single one is there, but it's all from that one light. So when you are thinking about you know like oh i made this decision today you're in a new dimension but you don't realize that new dimension because it's so similar to the last one you were just in because it's just an incremental tiny change and whenever you get i i this is my belief is that when you get to a, as you start to like go towards a version of yourself that you believe is the version that you would be happiest in as you go towards that you're going towards the real you like the real version of you and the past and the other thing is like yeah like you're as you move in between different dimensions the past that you believe to be your past is not you anymore. You're not that person. That past that you believe you had doesn't exist. And think about it this way. When you think about your past, you're like, oh, when I was growing up, you know, my, you know, my parents, you know, they never encouraged me. Or in my case, like my dad used, you know, like he, he didn't want me to sing in front of the church. Right. So like he told me that one time, he's like, he's like, maybe you shouldn't sing tonight. He said that one day and after that, I never sing again in the church. So for me, it's like I go to karaoke because I feel like that has changed me so much because I have this belief that, you know, like I'm not a good singer or whatever. Like, I don't know how to sing, even though I love music so much. And it's funny because I think about my YouTube videos and like, <laughs> my biggest YouTube videos are me singing, me rapping, whatever, making music. And I think about like, why did I try so hard to make that music? Like, why did I spend so many hours doing that? It's because I believed in that version, that dimension that I, that I experienced through my own free will. And guess what? I'm no longer that person. I'm no longer that kid that was rejected. I'm not in that dimension anymore. I'm in, I'm in a dimension where people love to hear me sing and it's fun, right? And I didn't realize this, but that happened. That choice happened a long time ago when I made my YouTube channel. And I were actually when I made, 
when I decided to make my first, you know, Call of Duty rap song or whatever, when I made that song and I released it, I was so scared. I was like, this is going to get, this is, this is going to be terrible. People are not going to like it. So it was in my head. Guess what? It, it blew up. And then everyone, every other video I started making, people got, you know, it started to get bigger and bigger. And I started making choices and now I realize that that version or whatever my history that traumatic thing that i believe to be me is no longer me because i'm in a different dimension i'm a different person i no longer you know the only reason i remember that is because i remember as a multi-dimensional being called consciousness i remember putting myself through that through that dimension and now I carry it into these other dimensions where it doesn't even exist, doesn't even make sense. Right? It doesn't make sense for me to hang on to that experience. And guess what? I can choose to no longer hold myself attached to that. And the, re and the thing is, think about this as well. When you think about the past, you are recreating that past in your mind that past no longer exists actually it does exist it's just in a different dimension in a lower dimension in a dimension that you no longer exist in that's so far on the other spectrum that like on the other side of the spectrum in the prism right like it's so far it's it's, it's in a it's in a different it's a different, it's a whole different universe, whole different experience. It's a whole different dimension where that did happen. But there's like an infinite amount of dimensions that are way different than that, that where it never happened. If that's only one tiny little dimension amongst an infinite amount of dimensions. Actually, it's a little spectrum of, you know, a little a little smudge <laughs> in, in like a sea of different experiences. And you think about it, you no longer have to hold on to those past dimensions because you're creating those, those experiences in your mind. Every time you remember those things, every time you frequent and you revisit those, those traumatic things, you're creating those again in the present moment. And because of that, you are creating a new dimension where you're hanging on to certain things that are no longer part of you, part of you. Like they're no longer your experience. That was a different person. That was a completely different person. That was not you. You are this interdimensional, multidimensional being that is traveling between bodies that are parts of different dimensions. At least that's if you, you know, if you think about the whole quantum computer and if, if you want to believe this, you don't have to believe this. You don't have to believe what I'm saying. You don't have to, you know, it doesn't even have to sink in. You don't have to understand it. If you don't understand it, if you don't agree with it, no problem. You don't have to. Because you have the free will to decide for yourself what is the reality for you there's so many different multi there's so many different versions of you there's so many different dimensions there's so many different creatures in some dimensions you are a rock in some dimensions you're a sheep in some dimensions you're a pixel inside of minecraft in some dimensions you are just an element you're just wind you're just water some dimensions you are a bird. Some dimensions you are a rock flying through space. Do you need to know about those dimensions? Absolutely not. Just like the chess player who's playing against the quantum computer. Imagine if he could just download every version of everything that the computer just gave him. Does he need that? No. He only needs the path to win, right? He only, or actually not even to win, he just needs the path to what he wants in his life. So if he wants to lose against a computer, 
he can choose, he can tell the computer, hey, give me the path where I lose. He can look at the computer and say, hey, give me the path where I win. In the shortest amount of moves. Right? He might be someone who's cheating against another... Maybe he's cheating against Magnus Carlsen. Right? Genius chess player. He says, get the this computer. He looks at the computer. He says, hey, give me the... The path to victory against Magnus Carlsen. Boom. Gives him a whole bunch of them. Right? He can choose which one he wants to experience. He can choose to drag it out. Or he can choose to play a long game against Magnus Carlsen. Same thing with you. You can choose, you know, a short life. You can choose a long life. You can choose one that's uneventful. You can choose one where it is full of wonder, full of ups and downs. And I believe that we choose, we're always choosing the best ones for ourselves. And I think that we have access to this computer with all the choices. And I think all that takes to be in tune with that is to be in tune with yourself and learn the reasons why you make choices. Once you learn why you make certain choices, the universe opens up. You start to understand, like, I'm always creating. I'm always creating. And the reason why you're always creating is because you are always making decisions. You have free will. Free will meaning you have the dis you can do and create whatever you want, the, the type of life that you want to live. Obviously, there's going to be some restrictions because you can't just jump from one end of the spectrum to the other. So, you, you know, there are things that may have happened in your life that cannot be reversed because you're so far on the end, on, you know, on the end of one end of the spectrum that you can't reach the other. In, in one lifetime anymore you've made so many choices that you're out of there but you know even then i have i can't confirm or deny that like that isn't a possibility i don't know that you can't bring somebody back to life right i don't know if you can't experience your parents if they passed away again i don't know if you can bring your dog back i don't know those things because I'm not in those dimensions where those things are possible, but I'm sure they exist. So the best thing you can do right now is start to question the things you, you do and the reasons why you make decisions, the decisions you've made up until this point. Once you learn those things, then making new decisions to take you to even more favorable, a more favorable existence for you, uh, an existence you would enjoy more, it becomes so much easier.